the visit of Pope Francis witnessed a great outpouring emotions as did his departure. As he left for the Central African Republic, the Pope left behind a message of hope and challenged Ugandans to emulate the martyrs killed between 1885 and 1887 for their faith on the orders of Kabaka Mwanga II. The Catholic Church here, riding on the euphoria of that visit, hopes to encourage a spiritual reawakening. Joseph Franzelli is the Bishop of Lira Diocese, who was the chairperson of the Information and Publicity Committee during the preparation of the Pope's visit. He told NTV that the Pope's message will be compiled into publication. First of all, publishing, putting together these uh, speeches that he gave, no? both those written, uh, which he pronounced, and some others also that he improvised, no? because actually those, those maybe were the most effective and emotionally you know, attractive ones, for us to go back. The message will also be translated into the different local languages in Uganda. Assessing the Pope's three-day visit, which saw him, among others, lead mass, meet the youth and visit the needy, Franzelli says the visit was a success. I think it has been a success, not only from the external point of view of the you know, organization, the manifestation, the crowd and so on, which is also important, but particularly looking at the purpose of this visit. As it was stated by the Pope himself in his message that we sent to to Uganda and to Kenya. That is, he was coming as a servant, a minister of the gospel of love. He admits there are lessons from the visit too. Franzelli's wish now is that the Pope's cash should be auctioned. If you, if you think of uh, uh, auctioning them, then the best thing, if, if that is the thing, then the, 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 the result of that, the, what the, the money that could get, be got out of that should go to the poor. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.